Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of SMU Soccer Insider. I'm Ray Canaveri. Here's a trivia question for you. If you look atop the Soccer America poll this week, guess who's number one? If your answer was SMU, you would be correct. SMU won their seventh straight game this past Saturday night as they defeated Memphis 1-0. If that isn't good enough for you, Bruno Guarda, SMU's midfielder, he took home CollegeSoccerNews.com's National Player of the Week. He was also Conference USA's Offensive Player of the Week. Goalie Steve Sambo was the Conference USA Defender of the Week for the second consecutive time. Coach Shellis Hyman talks about the win over Memphis and about the play of Guarda and Sambo. Hey, it was a great game. It was a great game. Uh, Memphis is a very good team. They came in here. I think uh, they looked at us as pr probably being their toughest game for the end of the year to give themselves some, uh, some rankings nationally. And uh, we played very well against them. I was really pleased with the boys. Bruno scored a, a great goal. Uh, Richard Levis served a perfect pass. And the same type of goal Bruno scored against South Carolina. He came through the center of the field and, and got a hit on the ball and uh, put us up 1-0. And uh, I think we did well in most parts of the game, but I was glad to get the result. And uh, looking forward to our final game in, with, uh, with Kentucky this Saturday. Yeah, it, it's right. Uh, both uh, Bruno Guarda and Steve Sam both, both were Conference uh, USA Player of the Week. Uh, they were also Conference USA Player of the Week the previous week. So it's, you can see they're, they're really uh, playing well and peaking at the right time. Bruno was also recognized uh, Soccer America Player of the Week uh, on, on the first team. And then uh, he was also recognized, I think, uh, Soccer News Player of the Week nationally. So uh, the, the two players are doing well. Bruno, of course, seven goals, I think six assists, leading the team. And Steve uh, continues to do well as he's getting more and more healthy. This past Saturday night, the Mustangs were back at Westcott Field taking on Memphis. Memphis came into the match with a 2-0-3 Conference USA record. However, Memphis hadn't beaten the Mustangs in four previous meetings. Let's go to the highlights. SMU entered the Saturday night match with Memphis on a six-game winning streak. They also had a nine-game unbeaten mark and were ranked second in the country. The game wouldn't be an easy one for the Mustangs. They were facing a Tiger team that was unbeaten in five previous conference games. The Mustangs are known for great ball possession, and it was another outstanding buildup that saw the ball make it to the right flank. A cross and a bicycle kick nearly gave the Mustangs the lead and some end-of-the-year highlight material. The Mustangs continue to attack the Memphis defense. This cross once again from the right side nearly found netting on a head ball, but missed just high and wide. SMU finally broke the scoreless tie in the 35th minute when junior forward Richard Oliva lifted a long crossing pass to Bruno Guarda, who headed the ball past Memphis goalkeeper Tyler Strom. Guarda now has a team leading 20 points this season, and his goal ties him with Oliva for the team lead. The Ponies continued to hold the lead throughout the match, and late in the game kept the Tiger defense moving and without possession. SMU outshot Memphis 9-5 in the game and had 12 corner kicks compared to just three for the Tigers. Only Steve Sambo recorded a pair of saves, but it was the starting back four of Chad Bauman, Adrian Chivanez, Brian Mursky, and Daniel Lopez, along with Sambo, that helped post the clean sheet who invaulted SMU to the number one spot in this week's poll. SMU head coach, Shellis Hyman. Well, first of all, I think that's fantastic. I mean, uh, can you imagine us being number one in the country with, with the injuries that we've had this year? Uh, part of that is I think we play good soccer. I think the other part is uh, we had a real good televised game against South Carolina where I thought our boys played well and won that game cleanly. And then uh, and, and the guys have just been performing well, playing some good teams and getting the results. Uh, you know, my, uh, my congratulations to the players. They, they have done uh, an exceptional job, and we want to keep it going. Guarda, just a junior, is tied for the team lead in goals with seven and with assists with six. He talks about being named the National Player of the Week by CollegeSoccerNews.com and about the win over Memphis. That's something that we cannot just count on me to be the National Player of the Week. We have to look around uh, my players like uh, Ben Shaliva, help him in the back, Jeff, Scott, Richard, all the players that help each other to um, be successful, and I'm honored. Uh, the win over Memphis was a tough win. It was 1-0 at home. Uh, good thing we came to win, and, and uh, we have to be ready for Kentucky Saturday. 
One of the anchors on the back four line for the Mustangs is junior Daniel Lopez. He was a freshman back in 2005 when the team made it to College Cup. Lopez talks about whether the 2007 team has the potential to reach the Final Four and about the win over Memphis. Uh, of course, I'd have to say that we, we have the potential. Whether or not it will happen is to be determined. I think we're coming together as a team in the crucial moments. Uh, a big part of our road to the College Cup was our team chemistry, and uh, I feel like we have a similar chemistry this year. Well, I feel in the beginning we were kind of on a high horse, and the, the two losses that we received in New Mexico kind of brought us back into reality and made us buckle down and uh, grind every game out the best we could. Uh, at times we play well, at times we don't. The, th the good thing is that we come away with the win. SMU has scored 33 goals this year and only given up 14. Coach Hyman talks about how his team has played defensively as a group and about this weekend's encounter on the road against Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky is really playing well. Uh, it's, it's a game I'm worried about. Uh, they're a good team. They're a team that if you let them get their rhythm and their style of play, it's, it's going to come into a long day. Uh, we picked up a, a couple of injuries, and we're hoping that we can uh, show up with a with a good side. And 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 if we can win the game, then we would win the conference uh, regular season championship, which is a, one of our goals. Guarda and Lopez talk about playing on the road and about their encounter with Kentucky this weekend. They know they'll be gunning for them on national television. Uh, I do think playing away from home on the road is always tough because you're playing against uh, their crowd, you're playing against their referees, you're playing against a, a team that's going to come out uh, excited to play against the number of team in the country, so it's going to be a tough game on Saturday. Uh, at times it is. Uh, some, some fans are unusually cruel, and it, it, it can not play a role into a player's mentality and every, everything like that, but uh, I mean, I personally just try and take every game the same and really don't let the crowd get in, influenced. Saturday we do have a game on TV. It's going to be that big target on our back against number one. And, um, and hopefully we're going to come out with a win against Kentucky. Uh, yeah, Kentucky, Kentucky is the past couple of years have given us good games. Uh, they're one of those hard-nosed teams that uh, often give us trouble. Uh, so I, I don't expect anything less than what, the, what we've seen in the past. I expect it to be a tough game. A win over Kentucky on the road this weekend will give the Mustangs their fourth consecutive regular season conference championship. That game will air nationally on CSTV. However, it will be tape delayed until Monday night. The Ponies return to Westcott Field November the 7th and 9th as Bradley and Central Arkansas come to town. Hope to see you on the hilltop. I'm Ray Canterbury. This has been SMU Soccer Insider. Until next time, so long, everyone.